Here we can demonstrate one by physical assist transfer from the wheelchair to the bed. First step would be to remove the calf strap from the wheelchair if the wheelchair does have a calf strap. Then we adjust the wheelchair by removing the foot plates out to the side. Make sure we swing them away before we flip up the footrest. Same on the other side, where possible encouraging the resident or consumer to do as much as possible, in this case lifting their legs. We encourage the consumer to wiggle to the front edge of the bed or the chair, in this case the wheelchair, feet apart for a good base of support and ideally bring their feet back so their shins are at a vertical position or further back so their knees are over their toes. Instruct the consumer to reach uh, for the armrest of the chair. The therapist or carer will stand on the affected side if there is an affected side with a nice deep lunge position to ensure that they can, uh, can kneel down to the height of the transfer. One arm will go over to the contralateral side of the client or consumer's body with the shoulder of the therapist or carer, uh, facilitating and giving proprioceptive uh, input into the back of the client or consumer's shoulder. The other hand will be assisting the anterior shoulder in so that the therapist or carer has full control of the trunk lean or momentum to facilitate the standing transfer. Give nice clear cues such as forwards, backwards and stand. Using weight shift, applying force to assist the consumer to stand. Once they're standing nice and tall, we can assist them by allowing them to hold their hand for directional guidance only. If they need physical assist for support, we'd look at more of a mobility aid. During the transfer, we reverse up to the destination, in this case, the bed, and the environment's already been checked for breaks. We'll guide the, care, the uh, therapist, the consumer's hand, uh, back to the destination, in this case being the bed, and we may facilitate some light pressure in the front of the hip and the back of the shoulder to facilitate a sitting posture. Obviously, we would only do this where the resident um, has some inhibition to initiate movement or where there's difficulty.